Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely to Fall! Let's continue exploring the Temple of Fire. I thought I'd throw in some appropriate theme music for this area as well. Not that there's anything wrong with the music of this game. I love the music in this game. It's just not often that I LP a JRPG that can let you disable just the music and not the sound effects, too. These scriptures... They've been shredded to pieces. Not. Just, just like the Temple of Wind. It was no accident these were destroyed. The ones who attacked the temple. The Black Blades. And the Assassin, or whoever killed the Vestal of Fire. But there's nothing else down there. Let's see, here we get one of my favorite shields in the game, the Ice Flame Shield. It protects against both fire and ice. So that's pretty nice. It makes you immune to those elements, and it's absolutely essential for what we have coming up next. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's take a look at what we got here. Let's see, I don't know if this will necessarily help, but let's get the flame charms to both uh, Ring a Bell and Adia there. They might not be able to survive anyway, but we might as well give them a fighting chance. And with Adia, we got a bait fire, so everyone's got something that can try to protect against fire here. Oh, and you know what? Yeah, now that we're actually going to go into a battle, yeah, let's get the regular music back up if I can ever get around to it. Where are you? There you go. Seems like rather calm and serene music for, you know, a volcanic area. But I'll see what I can do. Well, the last guy had a fighter jet, so... What, what kind of high technology can you bring to me this time? And they always get the first strike. Don't even get a chance to do anything. What gives, game? A train? So we have a fighter jet and a train. What next? Ow. Splendid. Well, at least not everyone died. I guess that's good, but... All right, another summon. Hooray! But all right, let's see. Let's uh, put some of those Phoenix Downs to use. Yeah, we've been taking a... Uh, er, having a lot of reviving to do today. But all right, so yeah. I'm going to have Ring a Bell do the healing here. Since he actually has the MP. Whereas I really need to save my MP for... Agnes and... Well, yeah, Agnes and Adia, especially. But even Tiz is a bit light on MP there, too. So, okay, you got that. Yeah, let's get you back on magic attacking there. I'm just going to leave Tiz on the shield as is. He's good with what he's got. And let's see. I forget if I gave you a power braces or Hermes sandals. I think it was Hermes sandals, probably. But all right, let's keep on going. Might as well investigate the scene of the crime while we're here. Maybe we can find Look something at useful. The sword cuts left in this table. <laughs> Unlike the Temple of Wind or Water, this travesty was at the hands of man. Well, it seemed like something was going on at the Temple of Wind. So this is where the Fire Vestal met her end. Maybe. But all right. You know, someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, if you don't manage to kill the Infernal Golem with your gravity spells, what do you do next? Ideally, if it's... If there's multiple enemies in the battle, try to use multi-targeting attacks so it won't counter-attack your single-targeting attacks. And you could also have 
uh, what is it, ring a bell, use Blizzara magic sword, and even with the flame tongue equipped there, it'll overwrite the element on that, so you'll deal ice damage to it, and then use, like, a couple stomps, and hopefully you'll kill it before it kills you with its counterattacks there. Or you could throw, like, Arctic Winds at it or something, or use some other form of non-physical damage. Oh, Lasagna! Isn't this the garb of a Vestal? Not anymore! You're right. They look a lot like your garments, Agnes. These are her clothes! The Fire Vestal was wearing these when she came to me in my dream! Well, evidently not. It's still here. Strange that only her ceremonial garb would escape destruction. Hmm, yeah, you'd think the fire would have burned everything out. She'll never get to wear them again. Well, she does in your dreams. <sighs> but alright, more party chats! I think we've gotten all the treasure around here. Nuts. Well, you did say she was looking sad in your dreams. What do you mean? Oh. Well, maybe. I don't know. It does seem odd that the Vestal of Fire can talk to you in her dream. Or his dreams there. I mean, it's not like a critical part of the plot or anything. It's just... Like, some odd special ability that she has for no apparent reason, and it never gets mentioned again. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, whatever. It's not a big deal or anything. It just seems oddly specific to me, that's all. But alright, let's keep on going then. Clear all the map. I'm gonna get into a battle in half a step, aren't I? Yeah, I've played this JRPG before. But okay, okay. So now, let's uh, prepare for the next member of the Legion of Doom. Or something of Doom, whatever it is, probably. But alright, let's see. Yeah, we want to go into our thief job class there. Yeah, I probably could have done this earlier, but yeah, we didn't need the Dungeon Master here. Okay, Agnes, I'm going to leave as a Black Mage, but I want to go with White Magic Secondary there. We might need a little help with that. Let's see, Ring a Bell, I think I'm going to leave almost the same. Let's see, let's go with a little more on the physical defense. We don't need that much speed for Ring a Bell, but just enough to get the job done. Let's see, Adia, let's go with Singing Secondary for helping out with the buffing there. And let's see, that ought to be good there. And then let's see, okay, for Tiz, I want to equip him with the Gale Bow so we can use it to cast Haste on himself eventually. But eventually I will also want to switch to the Birch Bow to exploit the demon creature type there. Let's see, I think everything else there is good. Okay, with Agnes, I think she's most, or she is going to stay the same, okay. Let's see, Flame Tongue is good, but I do want the Lambent Hat there. Let's see, everything else is good there. And let's see, let's go with a Red Cap just to give you a little more speed. But otherwise, yeah, I think we're good. Oh, I want to get my MP up a little bit there for Agnes. And, oh, you know, I ought to prepare my special moves as well for this. I'm not going to have Tiz use special moves right now. Let's see. Okay, Withering Ripple. Let's get that an extra turn there. Otherwise, let's see. I don't really care about these two for this fight, but we'll be good. Oh, and let's see. We're going to be using Lux here, so let's boost that up a little bit. But otherwise, yeah, I don't really care about those last two parts. Let's see. Ring a bell. Yeah, we've got the level 3 sword ability, so let's put that to use. Definitely want to go with Lightning there. And Demon Slaying, that'll help, really help us out. And let's see, Adia, you've got, where is it? Divine Light. So, yeah, let's boost that up a little bit. And Demon Slaying. And I think that ought to be good. Oh, 
Yeah, I don't need to get into another random battle before I get into this room. Okay, let's get the job done. I felt this ominous presence before. You mean all the other times we've been awakening the crystals? A creature lurks at the fire crystal. Nuts. What is that thing? I have no idea. Stay back, Eagle. Some kind of weird smoke or something. That's Chalkmar. Chalkmar, the mark of doom. It appears in the teachings of crystallism. How do the crystallism teachings know about these guys? I mean, hasn't this like never happened before? I had a feeling that might be the case. I'm all ready to go. We can't begin the Rite of Awakening until we defeat it, right? Just like all the other times. I'm afraid not. Let's go, Onyes! The four of us are more than a match for that thing! Let's make this guy toasty! Alright. For boss time against Chalkmar. Now you notice Chalkmar's got a barrier around it. Pretty much anything you're gonna do to it is going to not deal more than like one damage to it unless you have an ability that can pierce physical defense or magical defense. Unfortunately, I don't have very many ways of doing that. So for now, I'm just gonna have everyone default until Chogmar lowers its barrier. And okay, so let's see. Whenever he does that move, just a single Kira that should take care of the damage there. But yeah, I can drain some HP there like that. Or BP and get multiple consecutive turns. As long as Agnes doesn't die, we'll be okay. Alright, so now at this point, let's see. Let's go with Gale Bow to cast Haste on Tiz there. No, I wanted to do more than just that with Tiz. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Let's get Examine going. Now, after three rounds... Uh, Chogmar will lower its barrier, but it won't do anything else for the round. So that's pretty nice. Okay, let's see. Let, hmm. I don't quite have enough turns for everything I want to do. Okay, I know what I, I know how to fix this. Okay. So we'll go with just Cura there. Then I want to use Withering Ripple mostly to debuff its physical attack there. And then Lux to boost all of our stats here. Now, ring a bell. Let's have him go with Thundara Magic Sword. And then I want to use an X Potion on Tiz there, and that should take care of all that. Hmm. Now, I don't have quite enough BP for Idea here. Normally, what I would like to do is use two Love Powers and two Got Your Backs, but I don't have enough BP for that. So let's go with two got your backs to increase my physical defense because after lowering its barrier in the next round, Chalkmar will do a massive physical attack to all your party members and we need as many buffs and debuffs as we can get to be able to survive that. Everything else is secondary. I'll get my own. We should still be fine, though. But yeah, if I had, like, a really massively overpowered party, I, there's so many attacks later in the game that ignore physical defense and magic defense that can just get right through that barrier. Even though it doesn't really modify his stats, uh, ignoring defense and physical defense for some reason works there. Okay, so energy bears have everyone default. We can survive, and then we're in good shape. Now, with Tiz, I want to equip the Birch Bow to exploit the demon creature type there, and then go with Double God Speed Strike. That should deal max damage every time. Let's see. I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have enough BP to do a whole lot. Hmm. Okay, let's just go nuts, then. Let's go quadru... Or, oh, I don't have the MP for it. Right. Okay, let's go double Fundara, then. Hopefully, that'll be at least a decent amount of damage there. Okay, ring a bell. Let's go with Sonic Wave. That'll also boost our physical attacks there. Then, triple stomp. And, Adia. Let's see, why don't you go Divine Light. And, let's see. 
double or triple chicken wave. Hopefully that'll be enough to kill the guy. Yeah, look at that damn it. We're almost at the point where I don't even need to use special moves, but not quite yet. Not bad. Not that I care about the poison effect, but it's the only thing that... Well, not the only thing, but it's one of the few things that will actually Let's start the show. get inflicted on it. Bosses are immune to a lot of status ailments. Okay, yeah, we got this guy now. I like how after using any of his special moves, Ring a Bell just has a look on his face like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> And let's see. Ooh, refre Reflect Ring. I'm thinking like Final Fantasy IX where it was actually good. Now in this game, not so much. I think I used it once in Final Fantasy V, though. Way to go! You guys were amazing! Hey, we told you to wait outside there! Well, there were monsters back there. We've no time to pat ourselves on the back. Let's begin the Rite of Awakening. Yeah, not yet. I'm patting ourselves on the back. I'll help you get changed on, yes. Would you? Well, we're in a wide open chamber, though. But all right. We're ready to go. Let us begin, Eri. Wow. You look beautiful. Come on. Say she, say she looks like an angel. Come on. Are you blushing, Eagle? <laughs> of course not. Don't be silly. No need to be shy. Any man would be hard-pressed to pull his gaze from Agnes now. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, hey, what are you looking at me for? <laughs> no reason. Come on, let's hurry this up. Everyone but Anya, stay back. But all right, same deal as before. Oh, I'm surprised Aerie didn't, like, remind me about how to do this again. You'd think she would have, but okay. But, yeah, we got it down now. Almost there. Not yet! Just a little longer! Don't want to make this thing explode on you. Keep going! Just be careful. Just follow the directions. Hopefully that'll calm down the volcanoes around here. Or just the one, I guess. Stop! That's it! The right work! The fire crystal is awakened! Well done, Anya! Hey! Thank goodness. Are you alright, Anya? Yes. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Oh. Eagle? Hey, Eagle! What's wrong? You look moonstruck. What's going on? Oh, I was just amazed at how different she looks. But how different who looks? Thank you for watching over me, Eagle. The Fire Vessel would be very pleased with you. Oh, no problem. So I kept my promise to the Fire Vessel, right? Uh, whatever works for you in your dreams. Of course. Thanks to you, we were able to awaken the crystal. Huh. That's good. Hey, more support abilities. What, no party chat this time? I'm disappointed, game. But, alright. Let's see. How are we looking here now? Whee! Okay, let's see. Now, I actually do want to change my party members back to the way I had them before, or at least as much as I can remember that, because I want to show you something on the way out, as long as we're here. And, yeah, we're probably going to run into some number of enemies on our way out. Let's see. Oh, by the way, that energy burst, that, uh, what was it? Yeah, let's get you back on time, man. Magic. The uh, energy burst that Chagmar used against us 
Oh, I forgot to equip it. Uh, energy Burst is considered a physical attack, actually. That's why I was buffing my physical defense with Adia instead of my magical defense there. Even though you might think it should be magical, it's not. And it deals a lot of damage. If you don't have all those buffs, they will kill you. Yeah, I'll just go with whatever I've got for my abilities right now. I'll worry about fine-tuning my setup later. But I do need to be prepared for some amount of uh, physical... Uh, what is it? Or some amount of battles on the way out, at least. I mean, you can warp out, but... Well, you'll see. And I want the kunai, not the thief's knife. But otherwise should be close enough to the way I had my setup before. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, we got something else going on. Any more items? Okay. All right, we're done here. Oh, let me see if we get any party talk here. Like, I'm in the temple itself. No? Okay, well, there's nothing interesting here. So, in the interest of avoiding some battles, let's teleport to the entrance there, even though it's on the other side of the room. But I'd rather not fight more battles than I have to right now. Now, on the way back here, though... Haha! -ha! Yeah, there used to be a boulder there, but not anymore! And over here, too. So, we got a little shortcut to help us get out of the place now. Yeah, there's a boulder over here, too. Where'd all the monsters go? Huh? What's this? Something looks different. What do you mean? Is there a problem? No way. Do you find more, Calcum? What is it, Eagle? All the ore. It's disappeared what do you mean it's a mine how could it have all disappeared what do you mean is it something to do with awakening the crystal hmm. any idea airy with the death of the fire vessel it was no longer possible to control the magma that represents fire the mithril ore used to create powerful weapons and armor perhaps it's another symbol of fire subject to the crystal's control oh yeah well, with all the heat and the pressure you need to make all that ore, yeah. What? Well, we don't know that for sure yet. Anyhow, we'd better go report to Commander Goodman. But, yeah, I mean... You, well, it stopped the volcanic eruptions. I mean, it's kind of an all-or-nothing deal, really, when it comes to that. But, alright, we got that taken care of, so... Yeah, let's get out of here, then. Yeah, you, even if I were to teleport all the way out of the Temple of Fire, you'd have to teleport to the entrance of the Temple of Fire, then the entrance to the Underflow, and then the... Uh, what is it? And, and then the Mithril Mine. So, I guess that is kind of useful, because... Well, I mean, if you only wanted to go to the entrance of one of them, you don't have to, like, go all the way to the entrance of the Mithril Mine and then all the way back to wherever you wanted to go, but, yeah. Well, that was a really big dungeon that we had to go for, but, oh, looks like well, we got something going on there at, at Stark Fort there. But how goes the battle against the sword bearers? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Default. This is H.G. Bailey. Signing off. Have a good day. Let's see. Let's heal up. Ring a bell there. And Tiz should be fine for now. Yeah, yeah, this ought to do. Oh, he's got two attacks coming at us now. I mean, as long as Anya doesn't die, I think I'm okay. Game!